Hello, today we're gonna to talk about my top five accessories for my smartphones. Most recent, the Samsung S24, but it works with any other smartphone that I have, especially the Androids with the USB-C and the new iPhone 15 Pro that also carries the USB-C port. So let's get into it. One of the first accessories I recommend for all smartphones is a good protective case. You know, there's lots of cases out there to choose from, but I like to get the multi-purpose cases. What do I mean by that? Well, today, the way to go is MagSafe for charging. In other words, you can see all these cases have these rings on them, so they actually connect magnetically for charging. Have you ever put your smartphone on a wireless charger just to find out in the morning that it actually didn't charge? Well, the convenience of this MagSafe helps prevent that because it is magnetic. It sticks to the charger if you get the proper charger. So as far as the case, these things are multi-purpose. Here's the S24, take it right off the charger. It charges because of this ring right here is magnetic. When I say multi-purpose case, this ring also works as a kickstand. So you can stand up your phone if you want to, you can lean it either way. It's really handy and I like this type of case because it not only protects your phone, but also ensures you get that magnetic connection for charging and gives you a nice kickstand. Another way to do it is with something like this Pixel 9 Pro, I have a similar thing. It's got the magnetic ring, but it's got a flip out stand. So you can stand it up like this and look at it straight on, or if you want, you can lay it down. It makes a really nice view if you were to watch a video. So that's another way to have a kickstand and a magnetic charger on the case. And just to demo again how well this thing works, you just put it up there and it grabs. It grabs over a hold of your phone and it starts a charging. And it even works really well with the iPhone and its magnetic case. Of course, again, kickstand, so you can stand it up, use it like so. But of course, charging sticks right there on the charger. And with the iPhone, it's really neat because it goes into this night mode. You can have it present a clock on there, a clock on a calendar. So it makes a good nightstand clock as well with this magnetic charging. Now, since we covered magnetic charging, let's go ahead and move on to the magnetic charger. This is a really nice thing. This is a three-in-one charger. This charger will charge your phone, your earbuds, and it'll also charge your watch here on the back. And I like it because I use it every night. I don't charge my watch every night. My watch only needs to be charged every other night or every third night. So it works really well. That's a Samsung watch, by the way. So you can charge that. You can charge your phone here, and you can charge actually a second phone here if you like. So now you've got three devices charging. I really like this one simply because you can multi-charge. And as you know, being a reviewer, I have lots of phones to charge all the time. So it's a really nice charger. I will give a link in the description down below to all these cases, chargers, and all the and all the items that I show you today so you can pick them up in the Amazon store. Of course, all those links will be my affiliate links. So I'll get a little bit of kickback for your purchase, which I appreciate because that will help out the channel. And when you click on any of the links, it'll take you to the associate website. And it doesn't matter whether you buy one of these items that I show you today or something else, it'll still kick back credit to the channel. So I appreciate your support. Now you do have to be careful when you buy one of these three in ones because the first one I bought actually was iOS only. And that didn't work for me since I only have one iOS device and the rest are Android. So I had to return that and made sure to get one that will charge Android. So this will charge Android. It will also charge the iPhone with the one exception. It will not charge the Apple Watch. Apple's very particular that way. You've got to get their item. But this works for me. So if you're all Android, you can actually get this one right here. And you want to make sure to look out for the bargains and the sales as well on the site. You can get really good discounts on these. And don't forget to check that coupon box. Get an additional discount on these items when it's available. Now, since we're talking about charging, let's move on to a portable charger. I really like these things. There's many different kinds. This one just happens to be a uh, glitter base. I don't know if I really like the glitter base. I got it because I got it on a really good discount price. But this one's really nice. It's 500 milliamps. And it has a nice percentage reading here. It tells you how much charge is left on this thing when you charge it up. 5,000 milliamps will actually charge up any of these phones fully. And all you simply do is take off this protective cap if you want to keep it on there, plug it into the phone like so, and it starts a charging. What I like about this one, because of the shape of it, it really fits good in the hand. And so you can actually continue to use your device on the move. Or if you use the kickstand on your device, it doesn't really disrupt it. So this is a really 
nice handy mobile power bank that you can put in your pocket, keep in your purse, keep it in your car or wherever you want to store things. Now, any of you that have been watching my show, you might remember that a couple episodes back, I talked about a power bank giveaway and we're about to release the giveaway. We're going to actually at the end of this video, we're going to announce the winner. And this happens to be a two pack of this. So if you've entered to win, make sure to stick around to the end. Find out if you're the winner. All you have to do is respond to the message I send you from your comment. Now, fear not if you didn't get a chance to enter this drawing, because we're going to have another drawing at the end of this video. So stick around for that. The next item I recommend and I really like using is a adapter here, a doggo, whatever you want to call it, portable dock, if you would. And it simply plugs in by USB-C to all these devices. It'll actually plug into the iPhone now because the new iPhone 15 Pro has a USB-C. You can store additional items on here, download photos to free up space on your device if you're traveling. This is really a must, especially if you like to take a lot of photos and videos, you go on vacation, you can actually put movies and, and videos on here for the kiddos to watch on your device if you want to. This is a real handy item. You plug it in and it also has pass-through charging. What does that mean? That means if you plug in your USB-C to here, plug this into your device, play videos or whatever off of this, it'll charge your device at the same time. Now that's handy. And another additional plus to this device, it has an HDMI port and HDMI out. So on most devices, you can plug this into your, your phone and USB, I'm sorry, HDMI out to a TV. So you can watch a movie, stream a movie from your phone to a TV in a hotel room, or if you have an RV or a portable TV or whatever, that's a great tool to have in your possession. So get one of these USB hubs. It's a real handy tool to have. Now, another thing that I like to use is this pin. You might've seen me use it on some other shows. This pin works great. It works on any device. You turn it on and you can write on any screen here. Let's bring this one up. You can actually manipulate the screen with this pen. It works great. You can draw, you can do whatever like you can with any other stylus. I love this pen. I use it on all my devices and it's only 20 bucks on Amazon. And it actually even works on the Z Fold front screen. Check this out. You can use it on the Z Fold front screen and it works on the inner screen. Most of these S pins and, and things give you a warning. This one does not. It works really well and it's really precise. And if you really just want to see if a stylus is for you on your mobile device, this is a real inexpensive way to go. And you could charge it by plugging in the micro USB plug that comes with it. So it's rechargeable and it says it'll last 72 hours on a single charge. So that's pretty cool. This really works great. Now, again, as I said, everything will be linked down below for you to find easily on the Amazon store. And lastly, I really enjoy using a mobile mouse. Now, this mouse is really cool. It connects through Bluetooth and it will connect to more than one device at a time. What do I mean by that? This mouse is actually connected to my PC and to my mobile devices. Right now, I got it connected to the phone that is operating this video. See here, I can do a quick wide shot here. You can see my whole desktop and then I can zoom in. So I've got this so I can remotely control the above camera and you can see the mouse moving around on that. And then if you wanted to switch it over to your computer, you press this button here and now it's red. That means it's connected to your second device. So here it's connected and operating my computer now. I can see my computer's all lit up. You can't see it from there, but I'm operating my desktop computer now with the mouse. Press it again and it goes back to my phone. So a portable mouse works really well, especially if you use on Samsung, the DeX or anything like that for mobile computing where you connect your phone to a TV or something, which you could do wirelessly these days. So having this nice handy mouse with you really makes mobile functioning easier. Now here's a bonus item I wanna to talk to you about real quick. This right here is a USB cable with a watts indicator on here telling you how much your phone is pulling or the device you have it plugged into. For example, let's say I plug it into a Samsung S24. Samsung S24, when it's charging, now it's at 95%. And the more charge they have, the slower they pull, okay, to conserve the battery. So it looks like it's pulling 9.6. Let's turn this over so you can see it. Looks like it's pulling 9.8.4. So it's going down. It started off high and now it's going down because the battery is almost charged. 
So there you have 7.2. It's not pulling much. But I'll tell you, the Samsungs usually pull somewhere between 15 and 16 watts when it's really drained. And then you have the Pixel 8 Pro. And the Pixel 8 Pro, it pulls a little harder. And out of all my devices, it does charge the fastest. Now, again, it's almost fully charged. It's at 83%, so it does slow down. But you can see right now, it's pulling at 15 watts, 14 watts. So it's pulling quite a bit more. It'll pull at higher watts longer than most of the other phones, because it, and it does seem to charge the fastest. What I really like about this is it's told me if I've had uh, faulty wall chargers or whatnot, and that's a good thing to know. Let's look at the iPhone. The iPhone typically pulls the weakest. It charges the slowest. Like, looky there, starting out at 3.0, 5.4, and it's at 67%. It should be pulling a lot more to get this thing charged. So the iPhone seems to charge the slowest. It looks like it's slowly ramping up. It's now up to 11 watts, 12 watts. So it's doing a little bit better, 14 watts. So that's not too bad. It's pulling pretty good. So it's a really good way to indicate whether you have a bad device, bad charging brick, or whatever. It's a great indicator to see how your devices are working. But that is really geeking out, and, and that's not for everybody. Now, before we end this video, we've got this giveaway to do right here. Now, we asked for 30 comments at least, and we wanted to make sure you reference Power Bank somewhere in your comment. Just say the words Power Bank, and that would enter you to win. Now, I've already counted. I know I've got at least 20 comments that said Power Bank. So what I'm going to do is use a random number generator. We'll use it right here on the iPhone. Let it pick a number, and then I'll just go right down the list, and that'll be the one that wins. Check it out. We'll do a number. We'll do 1 through 20. Now, I originally asked for 30 comments on the power bank. We got 20. We're going to make that work. So let's go ahead and do the randomizer. Go ahead and generate. And the winner is number 8. So I'm going to go down the list. The 8th comment that has power bank in it is going to be the winner. So I will text you back through that comment and tell you what you need to do to contact me to get the information so we can send this to you. Now, if you missed out on this giveaway, don't worry, because we are going to give away next one of these 3-in-1 base chargers. All you got to do is make sure to mention 3-in-1 charger in the comment. Say whether you like them, you need one, you got to have one, and we'll do another drawing in a couple weeks. And as long as we get at least 30 comments that say 3-in-1 charger in them, we will do a drawing and give one away. So again... Don't forget to comment down below. I hope you found something you liked on this video. If you did, please leave me a like down below. Let me know and tell me which device that you really like or which accessory you liked. And also tell me if you have some other recommendations, maybe some devices that I would like to try out. I'm really open to looking at new accessories, so don't hesitate to tell me about your favorites. So make sure before you leave, hang out down below and look at the links to all these accessories. Shop on the site and support this channel. And as always, while you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more great content on this channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and God bless.